Hello and welcome back to Blind Man Studios. If you're new to the channel, this is where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. In this video, we're talking about technology and more specifically curing RTX FOMO, which is the fear of missing out related to Nvidia's latest RTX graphics cards. In this video, we're going to go over some recent Nvidia promotional material, and I'm going to show you while it's really cool stuff, you might not need to spend any money to do it. Let's check it out. So when I was buying a graphics card for my new computer, I decided to buy the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti, which I determined to be the best bang for your buck available at the time. It's basically the last card that NVIDIA made before moving to the RTX generation. And it's been great for my needs for playing games and for making 3D art with Blender and for developing games in Unreal Engine except when I watched this video that NVIDIA posted, I started to feel like, oh crap, did I make a mistake? Am I missing out on something that would be really cool and really helpful? When I watched it again, I realized I'm actually not missing out. So I wanted to share with you here in this video what I learned. So let's go through some clips. Okay, so the video starts off titled Blender Turns RTX On, which plays in with all the other memes and marketing material about things just magically getting better with RTX. Maybe you've seen some of these. Like this one where Spongebob is transported into the future when he enables RTX. Or this one where this Minecraft-like landscape goes to become a real-world photo. So let's see what NVIDIA is claiming is getting faster or better or new features when using an NVIDIA RTX Studio laptop with Blender and Cycles. Okay, so this next part of the video is talking about the differences in rendering speeds between a CPU and a GPU. And as you can see here, the video renders from random pixels down to a final image in a couple of seconds when using the CPU. Comparatively, on the GPU, it looks almost instantaneous. And we have an almost final image that looks pretty good other than some small black dots called noise. And then here's where they show what's really cool, the OptiX Denoiser, which takes an image with the black dots and turns it into a final render. This is something that I think is really cool. I've only ever used the Intel Denoiser before, and I haven't been able to view a denoised image in the viewport while making edits. Instead, I've had to click render and wait for a couple of seconds for the final denoised image to be generated. I think this improvement with the OptiX Denoiser is really cool because you can make changes and see the final product at the same time. Okay, so the fact that I like this so much, you can understand why I would feel the FOMO if this is only available on RTX GPUs. And in fact, Nvidia only supports this feature on RTX GPUs. But the awesome thing about Blender is that it's open source, which means that any user can be a developer. And because of this philosophy, and combined with the fact that the OptiX Denoiser doesn't require any special RTX hardware, you can actually use it on almost any GPU, including my GTX 1660Ti. All you have to do is enable a specific environment variable, which I will show you how to do here. We're going to do this on Windows, but you can also do this on Linux or Mac. So first we'll copy the shortcut, and we will paste it here, and I'm going to rename it Blender OptiX. We go to Properties, and here we will paste in the special command that you can find in the description. And what this does is it launches your Blender executable like usual, except first it sets this environment variable cycles OptiX test equals one, which says allow all GPUs to pass the cycles OptiX test instead of normally just RTX graphics cards to pass. So I hit apply, okay, and now when I launch this Blender executable, I will be able to enable OptiX rendering on my GPU, even though it's not a fancy new RTX GPU. So let's go to edit preferences, and you can see here under OptiX, my GeForce GTX 1660Ti is supported. So I check that, and what we can do is we can open the junk room scene that um, the NVIDIA video goes over and show you the same things. 
So let's open, I'll do file, open, don't need to save. Let's open the junk room scene. And as you can see here, this is the junk room scene and I can switch to final rendering to viewport shading. I can switch the viewport shading to, um, I guess the final render. And this is something that's not shown in the NVIDIA video, that it takes a second for all the data to be loaded on the GPU. So you're getting a little bit more of an authentic look here at uh, how this works. And while that loads, I'll show you the final render settings. The rendering engine is set to cycles with an experimental feature set, which allows us to enable the viewport denoising of OptiX. So as you can see here, we have the full denoised image in the viewport and I can change the angle of the camera and it renders pretty quickly. So in the video they go over moving lights around, um, but you could see how that would work where you would move a light, wait a second, and then the scene would render. We can then turn this off and you get the noisy image. Okay, so that is all I can test right now in this video because I do not have an RTX graphics card. So NVIDIA, if you're listening, want to send me one? Uh, but in the video they talk about how the Cycles rendering engine is able to use those RTX cores for faster ray tracing, for faster rendering. But as you can see here, for me, the junk room scene renders pretty fast, but obviously if you were rendering tons and tons of frames, you would want it to be as fast as possible to save you as much time as possible. Uh, so I'd love to be able to look into that, but I can't right now. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you um, get to make informed decisions about what is the right hardware to buy for you and when and what you need. And I hope I helped cure some FOMO. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later.